Welcome to the ACU Bootcamp Series on the JPS Interop channel. In this series of technical episodes, we'll discuss how to set up and configure interoperability products and solutions. Throughout the series, we'll focus on how to set up modules and communication interfaces that will create transparent and reliable interoperability with LAN mobile radios, satellite, and telephony systems. We'll show you how to provision network interfaces to provide remote control and monitoring using various controller applications, as well as delivery of radio and telephony communications over digital links, also known as radio over internet protocol. Our solutions are easy to set up, reliable, and have communication interfaces that are completely neutral or are fully standards based. For instance, JPS has analog telephone interfaces that operate upon domestic analog telephone systems and switch circuits. We also implement standards based SIP digital telephony protocols that allow interfacing with VoIP enterprises that are also standards based. Our first few episodes will concentrate on the setup of our radio interfaces and radio resource channels of our interoperability products, such as the entire line of ACU communication gateways not to mention the ACU Z1 and RSPC2. We'll also address modules such as the NXU2A and the ARA1. The radio interfaces used on our products are completely agnostic, meaning those interfaces are not dependent upon the receive or transmit frequency of the radio system, nor are the interfaces reliant on the method used to modulate or demodulate the RF signal, nor is the function of the interfaces contingent on the protocol or encryption methods or the manufacturer of those radio systems. By using standards-based protocols and agnostic interfaces, the setup and configuration information used in the ACU Bootcamp episodes will be applied to all JPS products. So remember, as you view the episodes, keep in mind that the information is meant to be generic in nature. User interfaces may look different, but the parameters and adjustments made to those parameters yield the same results, better communication interoperability. For instance, when we discuss receive audio delay, the definition and alignment procedures are similar for all our products and can be applied to advanced gateways such as the ACU Z1 or simple interfaces such as the NXU 2A module. So this concludes our introduction to the ACU Bootcamp series. Every couple of weeks, we should have a new episode of useful technical information that will help you better understand ACU technology and provide your organization or agency reliable, interoperable communications. So enjoy the series. And if you have any suggestions on future episodes you would like us to include, or if you're interested in more information on our products and solutions, give us a call or visit us at jpsinterop.com.